Hey, what's up guys? We're looking at Feedly, which is a RSS feed reader for Android. I'm not a fan of Flipboard, so I'm trying this out and I'm going to break it down and give you a review right now. So we're opening the application Feedly for Android and I am running an older Android device so you can definitely see it still runs pretty smoothly and this is a news aggregator basically it's going to bring all websites and news stories that you want it still has a typical news like CNN ESPN and all that but you can add your own news that you want like some tech some MMA some sports and whatnot. So the reason why I'm using Feedly is because I tried Flipboard and it didn't work and I was previously using Pulse and they stopped upgrading that app so the news articles were old and outdated. So you're going to swipe up and it's going to show the last article you looked at and now you have the ability to look at your news from all news just by topic or by today's news. So you do have the ability with this app to search for different news articles that are not the traditional ESPN and CNN. So as you can see right here, I have an MMA fighting and I have The Verge and I have them categorized in technology and MMA because I really love MMA. If you don't know that, it's, it's basically USC. So when you want to read a article, you just click on MMA or what you have highlighted and it brings up the article right here so it gives you like a little description before you actually read it so kind of like a custom thumbnail if you will and then you click on it and it brings up here it says morning report holly holmes asked me should take for a rematch i'm not going to get choked out again and this is from last saturday night's mma fight that they had in the ufc and you have the ability to look at this on the website as previously or you have the ability to share it as well so if you want to share it to Facebook or anything like that so if you click that little button at the top of the screen it's gonna bring up all the social media websites you can share it to Facebook messaging email and many others you can open it up in the web browser you can copy the link and you can share it to like your Twitter account. And that's what I do. I share this a lot to my Twitter account so other MMA fans can read the news articles as well as me. So now at the top of the screen, you have the search button. And basically when you hit the search button, it's going to allow you to search through different articles that are previously already there from marketing to design to DIY to gaming. But like I said, if you want to do specific name or specific uh, company or website you have the ability to type it in yourself and it will be able to find like phonedog.com or your local news because I like to look up local news instead of sometimes like CNN and all that kind of stuff so right here I'm showing you that you can search for like phonedog.com like phone dog it's kind of hard to huh? and you can click here and when you want to save it you can go up here and it gives you some information so the cool thing is I was looking at Frono's photo and before I even put in the photo part it actually registered who he was and Frono's photo is a YouTuber who talks about DSLRs and gives you tips and tricks on how to use them. And he's a photographer. And you see the X at the top of the screen, or the plus. And if you click that, you're going to be able to save it. And it will bring up where you want to save it. And I put it under the technology section. So when I want to read technology, I click that and everything under technology will be technology related so you can categorize the news so you can have news for technology news for sports and just regular local news which i find really appealing 
So now when you go up to the top of the screen where it says all, it's going to bring up all the articles that you have been looking at. So as always guys, remember to rate, even if you hate. So guys, that is Feedly for Android. It implements all your RSS feeds in the one thing. And the grid icon is really nice to look at. So you can see all the articles with the custom thumbnail and it might make you click on them but it just looks nice the way they have it implemented it's very clean very easy and very simple to use i do recommend you guys checking out i will put a link in the description box will take you to the google play store so you can download it for yourself or you can check it out on your phone it's a good rss feeder one of the best i've tried in a very very long time so you do have the ability to read it, it or read it on the website so at the bottom of the screen you can share it or read it on the website so when you click on view on the website it's going to bring up a version of the website not in a web browser but still in the application so it gives you that web site look and feel to the article the only difference is you can't look at the videos that are being shared on the website because there is an instagram video of misha tate and this like police officer like looking at her when she's uh getting uh ready to weigh in which i don't blame him because she's a, a really attractive chick but um you do get a website view of the article so as always guys remember to smash that like button hit the subscribe button and I definitely make videos like this all the time on this channel. So if you guys want to see more reviews like that, I would appreciate the thumbs up, the likes, and subscribing because it definitely helps out the channel, man. And it definitely lets me know what kind of videos you're interested in. If you're interested in the app reviews, the game reviews, or the tutorials on how to do something. It really helps out the channel, man. As a YouTuber, I really, really appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.